the all right so the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is uh, how to turbocharge and that is one two three walk oh boy crystal focus and then that guy and you do this uh, one two three and fourth walk and change this to the fifth one like so one two three and one two three like so and eventually you will have a full ring around this um, I'll just keep doing it now you have a ring of eight around the pylon last thing that you have to do is place one more energy focal point directly underneath the tile wall and then oh something problem I see what it is it is the power crystals they are currently missing. You do need to have power crystals around to turbocharge. Now it should be fine. And that is how you do the turbocharging. It'll go to this crazy animation. It's really loud and really cool. I'm not going to spoil it here, but that's how you uh, get turbocharging since it doesn't really state anywhere in the chromatic book. Alright, and the last thing that I'm going to show you guys is the Aura Locus. The Aura Locus is really cool. It, when you place it down, it scans the nearby area for crops, and it will eventually find them all. It does take a little while for it to find everything. As you can see, these guys have not yet been found, but these have. I'm also uh, showing off the Elemental Farmers, because they are one of the few ways that I can keep up with the or a locust once it is running full. Note it will take quite a bit of power to uh, run this guy in the green and purple. Especially once it starts getting rolling. So, um, that's pretty much it for Chromatic Rep. If you guys have any specific questions about certain blocks, feel free to leave a comment or ask. Because, um, while I'm not perfectly knowledgeable of the mod, I can, uh, uh, figure stuff out and or ask Rika if I can't figure it out myself. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed this short Chromaticraft tutorial on the various blocks and mechanics within it. Until next time, bye bye now.